um, that fight, you know, it'd be a pretty big loss um, if the, uh, you know, if it all pans out unsuccessfully. I'm not actually sure what's going to happen with Fife. We, um, we have clubs looking at their options, so we'll find out later today how that's going to pan out. Just, you know, he, just his loss in general, um, you know, if he does, doesn't decide or if he doesn't end up playing. Oh, look, Fife's a very good player. He's a very, very important player, but no one player makes our team. We just get someone in and fill the role. What do you make of um, Gold Coast this week? Gold Coast are a very good side, they're improving. Young List, another pre-season under their belt. They're always improving and getting better and they're going to be a tough challenge down there and I'm under no illusion about that. Have you noticed a change in their, their style over the, la over the last year, I guess? Oh, look, they're not the year under their belt. They're getting stronger, getting fitter, getting used to the game more, so they're improving it constantly. Have you had a chance to uh, speak to Kepler to see how he's holding up after the news from the weekend? Yeah, look, we're obviously all very disappointed for Kepler and he's, he's a great bloke, so we're going to support him and be there for him and get, help him get through this. Do you have any idea who could potentially fill a hole up, up forward with uh, him and, and Pav both, both down for a while? Uh, look, we've got a full week of training to go and that's for the match community to decide, but I'm sure they'll figure that out later in the week. Has everyone pulled up from Friday night? Yeah, everyone's pulled up well. And have you been through any... Um, analysis of the game and, and worked out any issues that might have arised? Oh, we haven't had our reviews yet, but we had a slow start, so it was something that we're working on. Lee, the back line, how do you think that's going? Obviously, Friday night, early on, they were scoring, scoring pretty heavily, but after that, um, you guys were repelling them pretty well. How do you see it's going? Yeah, then? look, we had that slow start that we've addressed, and we're aware of that, so that's something we're really going to look at as a group, both defensively and as a whole team, and we're going to address that and try and really improve that. And as, as a group, as a six of you working together, obviously Garrett came back in when Paul was out um, on the weekend. Do you, do you feel you're, you're gelling really well this year? Yeah, look, we're trying to constantly grow and grow leadership and organisation and, and improve constantly on that. So that's something that we really want to do as a group and we're just trying to take a step every game and every session, training session. How are you finding your second full year in senior footy having come from the Quaffle and also the Sample? How's the step up been? And and what's it been like? Yeah, look, it feels really intense and I'm really enjoying it. And, and every game you get a bit more experience and, and uh, you feel a bit more comfortable. But, um, but yeah, it's really been really good. Do you think you've, you're in a better place position than some of the young guys coming in, given your experience at state league level and, and given you're a little bit older? I think being a mature age player does help you. It gives you, sets you in good stead. You're a little bit physically a bit stronger and um, a bit more used to the wear and tear of AFL. But in saying that, a lot of young players coming in and pushing for spots and there's a lot of competition in our club and drives us. Do you feel like you're established in this side? I think everyone, every game, realises that there's pressure on for spots. You've got to keep performing. And um, if you let your guards slip, your spots in jeopardy. Just going back to Friday, and I guess the last 60 seconds, I'm not sure where on the ground you were when ball's heading forward, did, did you have a sense of how long it was to go and who sort of took control in that, that last 60 seconds, primarily in defence, where, where you may well have been? Yeah, I think the last sort of couple of minutes it was pretty frantic and everyone sort of knew the game, wasn't sure exactly how long was left, but the game was tight and you could sort of sense it as a player and I think we just wanted to get the footy and control it and try and slow it down. Is, is there something you've worked, you, you work on, can you work on uh, during the week of training to try and um, replicate in some way the, the, those situations where you need to... Yeah, we, we train some game situations, there are things where you're in front, you're behind, those sort of things are what you have to do. So we're all well drilled to know what to do, it's just a matter of implementing it on, under the heat and intense heat of the game. Going up against uh, our teammate Greg Broaden on the weekend, if he's selected of course, um, any text messages flying between the, the two? Groups yet, uh, not as yet, it's pretty early in the week, so I'm, I'm sure a few of the boys will catch up with him. They're, they're good mates with him, and he's, he's at the club for a while, so we're still off the field. A lot of blokes are very good friends with him. Just what with the injuries and the players that aren't available, no, Sandlands, Pavlich, uh, Bradley, Fife, uh, is that, is that you, how would you like to respond to, to those players not being available this weekend? We're not all about one player doesn't make our team. We just we go in, we put someone in, we play a role, and we practice effort and role. And we believe that we can stand up. And we've got a, a structure that really stands up under pressure. Um, one player might make up your team, but a lot of people say Gary Hamlet makes up the Gold Coast team in some respects. Um, Ryan has obviously done a job on him before and, and may well get it again. Um, what sort of, I guess, how much sort of work would you think he'd have to put in through the week? Or do you think he knows what Big Gary Ablett provides and just has to um, go about it 
as, as instructed by Ross? Gary Ablett's a Premier player and Ryan's a Premier tagger, so at some stage they may end up in each other, but we're not sure as to yet exactly who Ryan will go to, and Ryan puts a lot of work into whoever he's playing on each week. How did you rate Richmond as an opponent compared to the other sides you played this year? Look, Richmond are a much, much improved side. They're, 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 um, they're growing and they've, uh, they're a good side as well, so they're, they're going to be a threat, top eight, top four, who knows? It's a long year. Gold Coast forward line, what do you make of them? And Charlie Dixon kicked six on the weekend, and they seem to be really growing. Um, do you know who you might go to? Or? Uh, not as yet, I don't know, but they've got a lot of talent. They're a lot of young, talented players, and, and um, if you... If you let them get away from you or you don't pay them the respect they deserve and then quickly bob up and kick six or, or whatever. Do you expect Paul back this week? Or? I'm not sure um, with Paul, hopefully training this week and we'll see how he goes.